All right, guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Crescencio Somerville, or Jimmy, <clears throat> as I like to call him, uh, you know, the Leeds player. Uh, you may have seen some uh, activity on social media today saying or claiming that Anna Slot has had personal conversations with Somerville about moving to Anfield. Uh, it was a post that was put out by uh, a chap called Viva de Vries, whatever. <clears throat> All right, smart ass. W I A B E. Not exactly John, is it? W I B E space D E space V R I E S. Right. I'm going to translate that. <laughs> It's probably translated from like Dutch into like wobbly willy or something. Translate from Dutch into Spanish. Yeah, I don't want Spanish. Is he a real person then? We Weeb de Vries. Weeb de Vries, there you go. I've never heard of him, have you? Anyway, he's getting a mention today. Now, his, uh, his ex-bio says sports journalist who loves stats. Worked for ESPN NL, ESPN Netherlands, for 11 years and played for five years in the U for something else, I don't know. Video Analyst B. And what he put on, uh, on social media was Liverpool manager Arne Slot has already had a personal talk with Somerville. Seems like to be PSG or Liverpool is the new club at this moment for the Leeds winger. Now... On the Cop Talk VIP members website, let me log in. I don't know my password or anything. Please give me it. Here we go. Uh, dunk. Here we go. Let me log in. If you go to the executive lounge and then the scouting department uh, and then the Somerville thread. Now, what we can say about it, we've, speak, we've spoke about him before on here, definitely. Um, now, going back to the 28th of May, uh, I suppose it's a while ago, isn't it? 28th of May, I posted. His valuation isn't, isn't out of reach. It sounds like Liverpool feel a bag and could be had here, but it depends if Leeds will try it on, and trying it on they are, apparently. From my understanding, we are making some inquiries in the background. Liverpool have a good relationship with the Wasserman Agency, who represent the likes of Gomez and Jones. Uh, then a discussion continues between the other contributors, uh, and then I provide uh, another update on the 19th of June. I think I might have done a video about this one actually. Liverpool are currently talking about are currently talking with his agency, and in brackets I put Wasserman about a potential deal. Seems that we have perked up due to Brighton stepping up. So if you recall, the camera's a little bit wonky. I think uh, if you recall, Brighton went in hard to try and uh, try and do something with this. And if I remember rightly, I think I made a video along the lines of, you know, Liverpool could be stepping up their interest now just to see what, how a deal could possibly, what it would take. Because if Brighton are going in hard and they're really trying to sign him, they're making him a primary target, then obviously the clubs are going to miss out. So Liverpool, got, you know, they might have been looking at him under consideration, blah, 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 uh, on a big list of potentials. Uh, Brighton, are, you know, another club are trying to like squeeze a deal. So now is the time that we're going to have to like step up if we're going to like just inquire about things. So, so this is the 19th of June. That's what I think Liverpool were doing. Like I think they stepped up because of Brighton's interest. Twenty fourth of June, five days later, me again. It sounds like Liverpool are not stepping up their interest in Somerville further at the present time. But indicate, uh, nothing was indicated to me as to why that was. Like, the person that told me that, they never said, like, oh, it's because of this, this and this, and other option, finances, or Leeds don't want to sell, or whatever. Uh, and my last update, uh, which was today on the members' website, on, the, on that ongoing thing, so you see how I've updated it is over that time. He's still considered an option by Liverpool, but Leeds are digging in on the valuation. Now... It kind of all ties in that little 
see those little series of events. I'm not sure when this was this claim was made, um, but the I think it's the Yorkshire Evening Post, isn't it? The regional newspaper in Leeds, um, in that area. Excuse me. Very good connections with the club. I've just had my dinner, scrambled egg, and uh, hot dog sausages with cheese in, just in case you're wondering. No bread though. The Yorkshire Evening Post, most recent, I think, I think this was either the 3rd or 2nd of July. Do you want me to find out? I'm sure it's, I might have it here. Just one second. Uh, Yorkshire Evening Post, 3rd of July. So yesterday, yesterday. And I think it was the opening, yeah, it was the opening paragraph. So this is what the local media that have got good connection with Leeds United, this is the message they're trying to put out regarding Somerville. Leeds United are not actively looking to cash in on Somerville uh, and another player and believe any further outgoing transfer business will be done on their terms. So in other words, Liverpool, uh, Leeds, sorry, you know, they're like, no, 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 you know, we can do business, but on our terms only. Like, now they're not, they don't want to cash in now. That's the impression they want to give to clubs like Liverpool, maybe. On our terms, right? And I think that ties in with my commentary. You know, uh, it's, it sounds like Liverpool are not stepping up their interest in Somerville further at the present time, etc. Because I think that what's happened here, I don't know this. Right, but just going from the odd thing that people have said and a bit of common sense, and then what the regional newspaper is saying there is, I reckon Liverpool have inquired to see what's what, and have gone, oh, that's nah, 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 nah yeah, that's not uh, very appealing to us. Either put forward a proposal and said maybe if it was in this region we could do something, or maybe Liverpool have left it. That could also be aimed at Brighton. What's coming out of the Yorkshire Evening Post? I don't know what Brighton's stance is it uh, is on it. It's at the moment. Um, but it sounds like Liverpool think that the valuation is too high. And it sounds like Leeds United, via their local mouthpiece, are saying, well, we don't want to sell him anyway. If we do it, it'll be on our terms, you know, trying to play the fucking, you know what I mean, the big man or whatever. So I spoke to my, my cousin, uh, Neil, and he's an ardent Leeds United supporter, loves his football, knows his football, follows all clubs, do you know what I mean? Like, so he's not just a a passive fan or a casual fan or anything. I'm not saying he's an expert, but what I mean is he's, he's got a good knowledge of football. You know, if you, he'll tell you where he thinks a certain club are playing or whatever. And I asked him outright about Somerville. He said, what do you think about him? You know, Liverpool's interest. You know, Liverpool said to be sniffing around him. And he said, he's a good player, but he's not a Liverpool player, all right? Uh, he said he's more like a, his exact club. He said he's the sort of player that would go to somewhere like Crystal Palace and do well, or a club like that kind of standing. Uh, and would shine in those, you know, in a, in, a, in a club like that. But whether he said whether he could do it at the top, you know, for a top Premier League club, he wasn't so sure. And I did a bit of digging, and I think I mentioned this in my last video about this subject, that there was a podcast run by local BBC radio. Again, you know, close to the club, people, you know, commentators, don't want to call them experts, but journalists that follow Leeds week in, week out. And every one of them said exactly the same as my cousin. They were like, he's a good player. You know, he can do things. But he also goes missing. If he continued to progress, you know, if he continued to learn and improve, then he could represent a top Premier League side. But at his current standing, the opinion seems to be amongst everyone is like, he's great for Leeds, you know, a bit frustrated at times, goes missing. But if he, if, he, if, he, if he stood up, you know, if he stepped up, then he could become a very good player. But there's doubts, over, or not doubts, question marks over whether he would or not. And if you're Liverpool and you're Edwards or Hughes, right, whoever you want to, whoever you, in your opinion, think is running the show, I think it's Richard Hughes, to be honest, from what I'm hearing. Um, you're going to look at you and go, there's, there's talent there. That's the sort of player we might take a stab at, you know, that a manager could work with, and I hate to say this, but a bigger club like Leeds, I have a lot of respect for Leeds United, all right? But when I say a bigger club, I mean Liverpool are a top, you know, Champions League club. Do you know what I'm saying? So a big, 
Premier League club. I'm not being disrespectful to you if you're a Leeds United fan. I love Leeds, honestly. Um, but you know what I mean. Um, just the, the support network at Liverpool, right through the coaching and everything, you know, that could make him into a gem, polish him and make him into a gem. If it was Jurgen Klopp that was manager, I'd probably be going, go for it. Because we know that Jurgen could work his magic. We don't know what Arna Slot's going to do yet. And surely that's going to be factored into the decisions that the management maker, you know, senior management maker at Liverpool, in terms of investing in players. Like, I need to see, you know, I would need to see what Arna Slot can do first and think, well, he's done it with him, he's done it with him. Yeah, we, this, we can do it. Because we know that Klopp, would have been all right with that kind of thing. Like, let's see what Jurgen can do with him now. And players can step up, you know, from lower divisions or whatever, uh, and improve immensely. Anna Slot has reputation for that, you know, for improving players. But for me, I need to see you improve a player in the Premier League, not in a farmer's league somewhere, no disrespect. You know, the Premier League's fucking serious business, right? So, I, I, what I'm trying to say is I can kind of see why Liverpool would inquire. You know, like, he's an interesting player. You know, an interesting player. A Brighton player, maybe, you know. And they'll probably sell him for £75 million in a couple of seasons or something. But Liverpool need to try and get in there sometimes as well with these things. And I suspect, can't verify, but suspect that Liverpool have gone in. They've had a bit, you know, they've watched him, they've had a look at him. Brighton are pushing hard and Liverpool have gone, look, you know, we're going to lose this kid. Maybe we should just inquire and see how much it would cost. They've done that and gone, nah, because he's not the finished product. You know, I don't know what's happening with Brighton. Maybe we should, you know, maybe I should research that before I did the video already, but I'm not really interested in other clubs. Um, and I get that, and I feel that that's why then, yesterday, the closest outlet, media outlet to Leeds United uh, is then saying, um, you know, they're not bothered about selling him anyway, beyond their terms, on our terms, you know what I mean? And I must say that the Yorkshire Evening Post, in my opinion, those journalists and that, they're like old school journalists and they'll know what's going on, do you know what I mean? They're not clickbaiting and shit like that. Brighton, uh, Chelsea could lose out to Brighton in chase for 20 million winger. That was a week ago. PSG rival Prem Giants for Leeds with Somerville. That's going to be Chelsea. Uh, new, uh, what's, about the, what's this one? Brighton have opened talks to sign the Dutch winger. Fuck off, pop-ups and all that. You don't get no pop-ups on coptalk.com, just fucking say it. Well, actually, you might do on front page, maybe one. Only because I took some money for it. I, I, I couldn't turn it down, guys. <laughs> nah, it's just a load of shit. It's, that's just clickbait. I want to see this one, though. New Brighton boss sends Liverpool and Chelsea message amid Somerville transfer links. This was the 2nd of July. Uh, let's see. Let's go straight to the quotes. My targets, I want to discuss them with my players. They need to be convinced of that. They need to feel what we can achieve. That's the main thing for me. I want to achieve big things and I want to challenge the establishment. The Premier League is the best league in the world with a lot of good coaches. You need your own philosophy and identity, but it's important to take other elements and adapt. My targets, I want to discuss them with my players. It's a strange thing to say, isn't it? Uh, I, don't see any, I don't see anything there to do with... Some of all. So I think this is just trying to lure people in with it. You're trying to keep a story going, you know, they're trying to keep the Somerville to Brighton story going, but obviously there's been no progress. Um, credible. You just you, you know, there's plenty of news articles mentioning Brighton and Somerville, but it just seems clickbaitish or just filler stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway, I know I'm off and on. What's the reason for the video? The reason for the video is that there are quite a lot of claims on social media today that Anna Slot has had uh, discussions, personal, a personal discussion with Somerville about joining 
Liverpool. I'm suspicious about that claim. Um, the journalists that made it, I've never heard of them before. Maybe you have. They have about 700 followers on X, 800, 700, 800, maybe not even that. So I'm not really sure about that. Do we even know it's a real account? Do you know what I mean? I don't know anything about it. Um, but I wanted to give you a reminder of the state of play. Um, Liverpool definitely have, uh, have looked at him. I think Liverpool have inquired, but then it's gone cold, you know. And uh, I suspect with Leeds putting out that little vibe through the Yorkshire Evening Post, that means like, yeah, well, we, we don't want to sell him anyway, so you'd have to go on our turns. Just playing the game. I know it's not a very good video, but I hope I've explained it. I just don't want you to hear, you know, things today. Oh, Anna Slot spoke to Somerville, but I'm not really sure that that's true, whether I believe that or not. I don't believe that. All right, guys, uh, if you appreciate the video somehow, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment. If you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, hit the super thanks button. I'll give you a shout out tomorrow. Uh, and we're going live actually on here at two o'clock UK. Uh, and seven UK this evening. Please read the video description. There's new information there all the time and uh, join the newsletter in the chat room. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, you'd be helping a brother out if you join the newsletter. Keep in touch with you that way. Um, I think that tom excuse me, tomorrow, I feel like I need to get out. So I might do a newsletter tomorrow. What time's that appointment? 11.30 tomorrow. And what time is my other appointment tomorrow? Uh, yes, I think there's a good chance that I'll update the newsletter tomorrow. I think if I get out to a cafe or something like that. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment, and um, maybe see you on a stream shortly.